Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, today's session we are going to do a can drop test but not using, not by using smooth particle hydrodynamics. But we are going to use a CL technique, a powerful technique called couple Eulerian Lagrangian within Abacus explicit. So right now on my screen what you see is a, a can and that can is filled inside a coke and coke is idealized very closer to water and um, you have seen in our if you can see in our earlier sph videos smooth particle hydrodynamics where you have, you have model inside uh, coke or water using a particle smooth uh, uh, particle hydrodynamics sph now we are going to use inside liquid using a, another powerful technique within abacus is called CEL couple Eulerian Lagrangian. So on my screen what you see is a can which is getting dropped from the 3 meters height and you can see the coke sloshing inside the, the tank and then, then we are not allowed sufficient time to have a secondary impact but in case you want to do have multiple impact understand the sloshing within this and because of liquid sloshing the the kinematic behavior of the, the object or stretch generation there are a lot of things we can do. So uh, we'll do that. So, uh, so this is the uh, tutorial we are going to do is a can drop test using a CEL technique. Now I'll just 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 go back and see. So this is what exactly it is. So uh, we'll model a can floor and then there will be a, a Eulerian domain. And using this Eulerian domain you can fill the the water inside so this is everything is a eulerian domain i'll take one cut uh, just to just to show you something uh, you can see how you can feel liquid uh, so we can we can do a lot of things within this uh, so like what you see right now is a void a Eulerian domain so red color is everything void and uh, inside this is a water it's a non white surface so uh, we are done this so we can uh, very powerful technique within that you can you see the the liquid the liquid how it is sloshing and all so we can do this so let's get started so before going in much detail this is our first video uh, uh, it will be soda can drop test using coupled Eulerian Lagrangian capability of Abacus Explicit. You can this capability is only restricted to Abacus Explicit. You can get theory uh, of uh, coupled Eulerian Lagrangian. So um, here actually the the element get, doesn't get deformed. It is just background. You have element and material flow within that that domain. So the problem which we are going to do is Coke or Coke or Pepsi can. 330 liter these are the dimension like uh, you have cone shape in a diameter 54 then 7 millimeter you have 66 and then you have it's uh, aluminum properties typical aluminum property inside that is a coke which we are idealizing using water the units which we are going to use is a ton millimeter newton and second we also physically check this dimension is around 0 0.004 inch this thickness so it is 0 0.0102 millimeter and uh, the other thing is will, will be can inside that water will model using CL so we will we'll learn how to do the CL it's very powerful technique and then we are going to drop uh, from the 3 meter height so we calculate what is the initial velocity under 2 GH and we got 7.7 .7 meters per second just before the heating will keep a can also there will be a gravity loading on this and then we'll, he will hit the drop hit the can now the <coughs> there are two important things aspect of the CEL one is how you can fill the inside geometry and then how you create a discrete field so there are the two specialized learning everything will be a specific thing normal thing the only thing is uh, from interaction then then we have specific tool called a discrete field where you want to do a volume fraction tool and then fill it so just just to just to how what what exactly we are going to do so first we'll create a part 3d we'll first put a deformable shell revolution this will be a can 
and this will be something like a 300 is will be enough so I'll put 0 comma 0 then 27 comma 0 so I get a first point then I'll have 33 comma 7 so I get a you get a this and then you get a taper then you have 33 uh, comma 113 so you get a get a top point and then you have one more 27 comma 124 so you get this and then then 0 comma 124 so 0 comma 0 27 comma 0 33 comma 7 33 comma 113 27 comma 124 0 comma 124 so you get uh, one side shape of cone and then you revolve it by 360 so get a get a can now I will quickly create a property for this is aluminium density will be 2.77 e power minus 9 so this will be turn per millimeter cube so the I'll just go back the unit which we are going to use turn millimeter Newton second then we'll have a elasticity it will be like 73.1 is a GPA so 03 so it will be MPA 0.35 poisons ratio will include the plasticity uh, I'll just go and check what is the data 170 and 0 170 and 0 340 30% uh, strain so we done that now we'll quickly create thickness shell homogeneous can thickness it was 0 0.0102 I'll go with a higher integration point just to have a, a minimum artificial energy develop just like because of our lasting and then we'll quickly assign it So we created part and we quickly assign it. Now I'll create a next part. It will be discrete rigid 3D shell planar. I'm going to create a floor. And I'll put this like 500 comma 500. So I'll first put 0 comma 0. Then I'll have 150 comma 150 minus 150 comma minus 150 so you've done that and then go to property and we'll just create a reference point 0 comma 0 comma 0 so I created a reference point now we created a can we created a floor now we have to key, key create a Eulerian uh, domain and in that Eulerian domain within can we have to fill the the water so these are the two exercise important exercise so we created can floor now we'll create a you created as a water so it will be 3d it will be Eulerian and we are going to extrude it so so 500 is I find it is enough so create 0 comma 0 just for reference uh, enter the point 0 comma 0 and then I'll create uh, minus 200 comma minus 200 200 comma 200 just to get a bigger domain and then I'll take this done and this I'm going to extrude by 400 so I get a sufficient demand and now what we'll do mm, we get a Eulerian mesh now we'll assign a property to it so it will be water we'll give density 
zero point nine four e power minus nine. So nine forty kg per meter cube. Water is generally thousand, but it will be lower than thousand. Nine forty kg per meter cube. So if you convert into ton per per millimeter cube, it will be point nine five e power uh, minus nine. And then we'll have equation of state using US UL. It will be one point four five e power minus six. And uh, we'll have uh, viscosity one e power minus nine. It will be ton millimeter per second. So you can check what your dynamic viscosity unit and convert it. So people say mini Pascal and that you can convert into proper unit. What is our new ton millimeter second? So we've done that. We'll quickly create water. So you name it water. Homogeneous. It will be Eulerian. So continue. And you say base material water. Instant water. Okay. So we've done that. We'll quickly assign this. And we'll also assign can. Can already we assign. So we almost have done everything. Now we'll create an assembly. Now we'll create instance. Now I'll just put transparent. So so we have everything. Only thing is uh, we have to rotate the can. So if I rotate a can and take little bit up, so we have a domain radius. Uh, so I'm going to rotate uh, can, only can, and it will be like zero comma zero, and then I'll say one comma zero comma zero. So I'm just creating this 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 x-axis, and I say ninety. So done, and uh, let me put in. X C, yes. So you can see this, and we'll just translate this can and floor little bit up. Zero comma zero comma. I'll say twenty-five. So you can see do lot of things now. I'll also do one more rotation. I'll just rotate this by twenty-five degrees Celsius. Uh, sorry, degree. I just say by mistake degree C. It's not 25 degree. So can I'll take 0 comma 0 and I want to rotate about Y. So 0 comma 1 comma 0. So I take a Y axis and I'll say 25. So done that. I'll just translate this up again. Can by Just check with 15 if uh, looks like 15 is good enough. So there is sufficient gap also. So we position can now. Now what we are done? We created three part. Again, we don't require that big Eulerian uh, mesh. Uh, you can have smaller one, but uh, this is the exercise problem. So you can do a trial and error and fix it. Now uh, we'll just quickly. Uh, Mesh it. So meshing will go by part was can. I want to use uh, middle axis. Then then I'll just assign this as a shell, explicit shape, and then hour less I put enhance hour less so S four. Uh, then I'll just put. Uh, Five millimeter, and then see how how the mesh looks good like. So five looks looks good to me. You can take a call. This is this is a. You can have finer mesh also, but we are just doing a exercise, so we want to quickly do it. Floor, it will be explicit D three. R three D four. We'll also use middle axis theorem, and then we'll we'll put ten millimeter. We'll mesh it. So we got a floor. Now we are going to important thing. We are going to put Eulerian mesh. Now Eulerian, this if you select, it will be uh, is Eulerian. So eight noded linear Eulerian bread, EC three D eight R, 
and uh, we have to be very careful when we do this uh, this meshing uh, it should be a sufficiently fine mesh so four will be good enough for us because inside can we have five so four we are able to capture the it's uh, so we have four we are done meshing with four uh, now now this is the important part very important part now we are going to fill the can the fill the can with water so you go to interaction now if in mesh you want to do go tool you doesn't get that so you go to interaction go to the interaction go to the interaction go to the tool go to the discrete field and say volume fraction now once you go to this first you will ask what is the Euler in part instant so you create that and say this is my part instant then select the reference so reference part instant is where you want to fill the liquid so I want to fill inside the can so I select the can it will I will create this and then say inside reference instant so one and you can have high also so you learn instance it's water and this so it's, it will start filling so it start computing the volume fraction and it start filling the the liquid so you have complete Euler in domain in that Euler in domain you are going to fill only this so it's a 60-70% fill and then other will outside will be the void one so we filled it now is done now the other important thing once you filled it with liquid you have to create a predefined material set so you go to the load go to the predefined create it will be volume fraction you can give some name whatever you want others and you say material assignment and you select uh, Eulerian part discrete field and you say water you are uniform you select discrete field you say whole part and then water will be discrete field so these are the two important step other things are like a regular one now what we can do is uh, we will create uh, node set for can because we are going to give initial velocity so we will say create uh, can node and we will create water node also I don't know let, let me let me create create node so it will be water node So we created both now we'll go to give initial minus uh, z so i can go to predefined create material it will be velocity so it's a uh, first we'll give on can select the can node set and then we'll say 0 comma 0 minus 7.7 7 e power 0 3 so 7.7 7 meters per second was the velocity what we got for a 3 meter height and then it's a millimeter per second what we're going to do so we define that one more will define now for Eulerian mesh you have to define all velocity on the all the all Eulerian mesh the only velocity will be this void will not take any velocity it will, it will, it will be void and inside the can whatever that uh, zero void elements are there nodes are there that is that is going to take that velocity so we'll say water velocity but you have to define it for the whole 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 Eulerian mesh so zero comma zero and this will be minus seven point seven e power zero three so we define that now we have to create a contact so 
will create uh, tangential beware penalty base will say 0 0.3 and then we'll say normal behavior as default so we've done that we'll create automatic uh, general contact and then we'll just connect this so we define a define a automatic general contact now we have to create a step and then put a gravity gravity load is applied inside the step it cannot be initial so we'll create a step so say can drop and then you see dynamic explicit so time will be 0 0.05 you can run for longer time if you want we are going to just demonstrating to shorter time and then we are putting the mass scaling uh, for 1e power minus 0 0.6 the reason we are putting the mass scaling because we want to take it to a faster run so we created a step now we'll just create a load and we'll put uh, put gravity here so gravity you select the gravity it will be applied for the whole model anyway floor will be constant so we'll put boundary condition for floor also and it will be 0 comma 0 and this will be minus 9810 negative z will have and then we'll put end caster condition uh, before that we'll just create a set here so reference point it is easy for us to apply load and boundary condition so create BC and caster condition continue and floor reference point we selected and pulled and caster condition so floor is constrained it goes and hit and then you have a bigger oiler in domain uh, you can have also domain you could have reduced at the top but it's okay now for demonstration but, but when you do it you reduce the domain now let me save this file Now we'll. Mm, it's taking longer time for to save. We've done that. Now we'll create a job. Can drop. Uh, we are going to use multiple four CPU precision. We are going to use a double. For this type of problem, better to use a double precision and multiple CPU. So we'll just submit it. We'll see how it is. You can do also data check and check if you get any error or not. But we just submit it and check. So we just submitted the run. If there is no issue, then 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 it will just run it. So let let let's let's check into the the deck. We'll just quickly have a deck. So your part can. Then you have node element definition for that. You have define the the section. You also given a control here. You have floor which will be rigid. Then you have water lot of lot of elements are there and then then you define eulerian mesh and uh, you have assembly then instant definition the node set then you have section control for thickness then you have the motor property for water and uh, can you have friction property now now here what you see is the initial condition and how how this volume fraction inside that is used to fill the liquid and then you have can 
velocity given then you also given for water and then contact you are given and then given a gravity so looks like it's the so preprocessor done so we'll ju just wait for started so uh, we'll quickly have a looked into how the initial volume fraction looks like so we'll go to the results and then then I'll just go to the field output assembly equation of state and then then let's say I planned and uh, let me just take out this and let's have this I uh, will go with all age and then then we'll see how it looks like let me cut it by x plane I think we need to cut it by y plane just to see now one is so this is this is where is our can so I put it in so guys now now this is just immediately start you can see the the one is with the water and zero is void so outside everything is void and then can is inside is a water and now wherever you see corner this is this is where you see is a half filled and not fully filled one is fully filled and then then based on the fraction the better is you have good finer image then then you can able to capture so you have this and then you filled with water now this is such a you have this all is square and then then you can put put eulerian uh, or domain full eulerian domain and then you fill the water in this now 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 just wait for results and then once results is out then then we will we'll see so let's hope that we'll get the results and then we can discuss run is still going on and uh, we just uh, see how the results looks like and uh, the important thing is how we can do a post processing so looked into this so this is, is our full mesh model so uh, first we'll sh I'll show you how to look into volume fraction part and then we then we'll look into how we can look animation so you go to the field field output you go to EVA assembly EVF assembly and then this where actually you'll see the how, how, how is the volume fraction so I'll take a cut and you can see the can now this is how we'll see how the can is getting so red color everything is a water so you see water getting and then then it starts sloshing so this is just this is the just looked into uh, it just uh, done some 0 0.0125 if you keep complete run then you can see how it is just hitting start sloshing tilting up all those things you can see it so the number one you take a section cut go to the results go to the field output and then select EV EVF assembly now other thing how you look it so I like to see it in a, with the free edge so it is good it is faster also you, if you don't have mesh you have free edge it is faster so this is what exactly is the water how it is getting sloshing the other method is you go here you click here you say EVA voids so you say EVA void it will be like one will be full and then you put something like a 0.5 and then then you can see the liquid inside and how it is sloshing now we don't want to put this this counter plot This just look like that it is come out, but this is uh, the 
issue issue with the visualization and then you put a transparent so you can see how the it's hit it hits and bulge so uh, can got hit and bulge then liquid starts sloshing and then then I guess once you see complete run it may get rebound also so this was a quick and short video the two important takeaways from this is uh, you should have a quite a in this case it was a quite a bit uh, Euler image so just just optimize your Euler image for the run and the two important point uh, I would like to tell is go to interaction tool displacement field volume fraction and then once you've done that go to the predefined field go to the others and pick the predefined field as a discrete field and once you've done that then I think you you can run this problem and see how the animation looks like and everything water sloshing so thanks for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to like us and subscribers we'll be bringing more video in on a CL tech ring couple Eulerian line engine so you'll see couple of more videos this was the first video then you'll have couple of more and then we'll we'll divert it to the different topic thank you bye bye